Hey guys, I got a ton of requests after posting our messy bun tutorial to do my everyday makeup tutorial. So I thought today's little stay at home tutorial would be just my everyday makeup. So usually at photo shoots, I do a heavier version of this um, with more coverage and I do um, eyeshadow and just go heavier for photos. But today I'm just gonna do my quick and easy everyday tutorial. So without wasting too much time, I'm just gonna get started. I don't have any makeup on right now. Um, so I will just show you my full routine. And I don't prime my face first or anything. I just start with my foundation and I use this Maybelline Fit Me and just a um, whatever type of brush this is. I'm not a makeup artist by any means. So if I'm doing something wrong or weird or out of order, this is just how I do it. Also, I'm using this as my mirror. I'm sitting without a mirror. So if I'm looking in a weird spot, that's why. But I just slap this all over. And this color is a little bit darker than my face. I'm sure you can probably tell. I typically have a spray tan. So I like to match it to my body as opposed to having like a lighter face. Um, so I typically go heavier or I should say darker on the color for my face not too dark but kind of just a color that matches my spray tan and then when i add the powder that kind of lightens it up a little bit hopefully this is blended out i can't see too well on my phone but like i said i just blend it all out i like to go like onto my ear to really not have any harsh lines and then down my neck as well And then I'll do the same with the powder to really kind of blend everything together. Mm, I go over my lips as well as my eyelids. If I was going to do eyeshadow, that's kind of a good primer. Um, but I like just everything to be one color to start. Then next, if I'm fe this step I skip sometimes for my everyday makeup, but if I am feeling like it, I will put a little concealer. And since I was doing a video for you guys yesterday, um, I did put some concealer on. This is the one I'm using, Glamouflage. Oh, not much came out there. Let's see what's going on. There we go. So I just use like a tiny bit on these fingers and dab it on. Um, I know some people do it. I got way too much. <laughs> I know some people do this step before their foundation. I like it to go on after and use it almost as like a highlight or brightening under the eye as well. And then we'll fix the kind of craziness of it with our powder. So I only put my concealer under my eye. I don't use it to like cover redness really because my foundation um, does a really good job at covering redness. I have a lot of redness around my nose right now and the liquid foundation does the job there. So that's that for concealer. You can see I kind of brought it up there. And then we're gonna go in with powder. I use a loose powder. Um, again, Maybelline Fit Me and then just an angled kabuki brush. And just use the lid to swirl it around. And I'll start with blending it down my neck so I'm guaranteed to not have that harsh line. <laughs> And just pick up a little bit of powder and finish my face. We'll start with like under my eye and just buff it into the rest of my face. So you can already tell the difference between obviously the side that has it and the side that doesn't. And typically I can do my makeup probably in like five or six minutes when I'm not talking through it. So I promise even if this video is a little bit longer that when you're just doing it by yourself in a normal mirror <laughs> that it goes super quick. So there's the powder. Again, I'm using my phone as a mirror so hopefully this doesn't look cuckoo. So that's it for my face. I think it gives a really nice even coverage. So next I will go for bronzer. I don't wear blush, I only wear bronzer. 
I have been using the ELF bronzing palette. Um, NYX also makes a good one. Most of my stuff, all of it today, I think, is from the drugstore, so nice and cheap. And I just kind of go around. The bottom one is the darkest. That's my favorite, obviously. You can see I use that one the most. And I just use an angled brush and apply liberally. I apply a lot of bronzer. I think this step kind of scares people, um, but I do get a lot of questions on like, how do you contour? How do you get your bronzer to show up? It's because I wear a lot and I only wear bronzer. Um, so I don't do blush. So I put bronzer in like the bronzer spot, you know, like the contoured spots, but I also put it on the apples of my cheeks where you would typically put a blush. Um, I don't know why I don't wear blush. I just prefer bronzer. So I'll do it on my cheeks. And then I also like to just put it on any place I feel like the sun would naturally hit. So the tip of your nose a little bit, like a little bottom of your chin. And then I also put it on my forehead. I have a pretty big forehead. So the sun would definitely hit up there. <laughs> so I kind of just go along my hairline and swirl into that part I had put on my cheek. And it just gives off a bronzy glow. And if I felt like I needed some on my chest or my neck, sometimes I will go under my chin just to kind of help blend a little more with the bronzer. Maybe add some to my collarbones to feel a little glowier. But that's it for bronzer. Then next I do my eyebrows. I have been using Maybelline Total Temptation and it comes with a little brush on the end, which I love. So I just brush my eyebrows up and then use the little pencil part, or it's more like a crayon, I guess, kind of waxy and fill in where they need to be filled in. And I'm a little sparse up front. So I like to fill in in the front as well. So I feel like you can already tell the difference between my two eyebrows. So then I'll just go to this side. I promise you guys this routine is really easy and I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> so if I can do it, you can for sure do it. Fill in just little strokes, not like one big dark line and just go along with your natural arch of your eyebrow. I don't try and create like a completely different shape because there's no way I can do that. And then if you feel like you're kind of heavy in a spot, what's nice about having the brush is you can kind of blend it or buff it out with the brush on that end. And then I go in with just a clear brow gel and I like to brush up so you see the hair strokes and this just keeps them in place. I have like really long eyebrow hairs. So I feel like if I don't use a gel, they end up kind of falling down and I like to have mine brushed up. So that's it for brows. And then this is where I would typically do my eyeshadow if I was doing a photo shoot look, but because we're just doing every day, I'm gonna skip that and we're just gonna curl our lashes. I cannot put mascara on without curling my eyelashes. I don't know how people do it. So this is a necessary step for me. Just normal curl. And then lately I've been using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I switch it up sometimes, but this is the one I've been liking lately. And for every day, I just wear mascara on the top. So I will just put Mascara on the top. Again, sorry, I'm doing this without a mirror and using my phone screen as the mirror. So sorry for the extreme close up. And I use the blackest black. I always go with the darkest color mascara in any brand that I buy. Definitely just got some on my eyelid there, but I didn't bring anything in here to clean it up with, so we're just gonna deal with it. So just 
I usually just do like one pass, but then obviously fix any weird little pieces. Again, ignore the stuff I got on my eyelid. And then my last step is lips. I use the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color Loyalist. It's this really pretty nude pink color. And it's kind of like a liquid lipstick. It dries pretty dry and matte. So then I also put a balm over it at the top. But this is the fav my favorite color that they have. And I feel like it lasts all day. I do that let it dry a little bit just because it does have a formula that it dries and gets a little drier and then this is just um glossier lip balm but any chapstick or balm works it's not important and that's just to keep it a little more moist because it does have a drier texture to it the lipstick does and that is my everyday look this is what i had yesterday in our messy bun video get a little closer hopefully we did an okay job so just bronzy easy like i said all of these except for the lip balm at the end can be found at any drugstore they're all drugstore named products so super easy and inexpensive um and hopefully that helps so if you watch this tag us and let us know if you try any of these products and We'll see you soon for a new tutorial. Bye guys.